Hello everyone, FedEx Gaming here and welcome back to another Redstone tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to build a simple piston lift or tiny elevator. So if we come in here, all we have to do is click our button and we'll be lifted up to the second floor of our house. And then once we are done doing what we have to do down here, just come back in here, click the button once again, and then we'll retract back down to our first floor. Now this thing, guys, is so simple. I'm sure anyone who's anyone can build this thing. Let's go ahead and look at the Redstone behind this thing. And literally, that is it, guys. All it is is a bunch of two tick delay repeaters going into those sticky pistons with a mono stable circuit up here and that's all of the redstone so let's go ahead and see what it does when we click the button so click the button the mono stable circuit will go off it will let go of this block right here thus making all of our pistons extend up it's a quad piston lift so it'll extend four times up and then when we click the button again you can click it down here if you really want to it will retract back down into the floor so let's go ahead and start building this thing all right guys so for this build you're going to need a five by four spacing and you're also going to have to dig down three now that red stained clay is where your lift will Will be going now the resources you're going to need for this build are five sticky pistons one regular piston five redstone repeaters five redstone dust two buttons one lever four slime blocks a piece of sand we're also going to need 22 immovable objects now i'm going to be using obsidian for mine but i highly recommend using furnaces because it's a lot easier to get your hands on all right guys so once you have gathered all your resources and got your five by four space and come to the bottom left hand corner and we're gonna just count up to where this red stain clay is so over one and then up one and then on all four of these blocks we're gonna place sticky pistons facing upwards then on top of the sticky pistons we're gonna place four slime blocks and then you're gonna have to take out blocks of choice you will be able to see this this is gonna be for your lift bottom i'm gonna be using slabs for mine but you can use whatever type of blocks you want Next up, we're going to start up on the redstone, and like I said, guys, this thing is so easy to build, it's ridiculous. So we're going to come right over here to this left-hand side, and off this sticky piston, we're going to place a block with a piece of redstone on top of it. Then we're going to put another block next to this sticky piston, and put a repeater going into that redstone on two ticks delay. Then we're going to come up a block behind our two tick delay repeater with a piece of redstone here. Then we're going to come over block. Now we have to use immovable objects here because we have slime blocks here. So I'm just going to place down two obsidian. But like I said, guys, furnaces. Furnaces are a lot easier to get. I highly recommend using furnaces. Next up, we're going to place a piece of redstone here. And then put another repeater going into this redstone on two ticks delay. Place a block right behind our two tick delay repeater with a piece of redstone on top of it. Then right on top of our two tick delay repeater, we're going to place another immovable object like that. It has to be an immovable one. Next, place a block up right next to your redstone, a block over, and put a repeater going into this block on two ticks delay. Place a block right behind this two tick delay repeater with a piece of redstone on top of it, and then place an immovable object right next to this redstone like this. And that is it, guys. That is literally the entire lift besides the monostable circuit. So if I place a lever right here and I flip it down, as you can see, it will extend all the way up. And then when we flip up the lever, it will retract all the way down. It is that simple, guys. So all the way up and all the way down next up go ahead and take out some blocks of choice you can use whatever blocks you want here we're going to place a block right next to our removable object a block above it and a block down underneath it then off the top third one we're going to place down a button right here you can use a wooden button a stone button really doesn't matter and then we're going to place a piece of redstone on top of this block then right off the side of the block we're going to place down a piston facing upwards place a piece of sand on top of your piston and then coming off going towards the inside of your build we're going to place down another block with a repeater coming out of your sand block on one tick delay then we're going to place a sticky piston facing downwards off the side of that repeater so go into sneak mode and just place a sticky piston facing downwards with a block in front of it then on top of this block right here that this two tick is going into we're going to place another repeater going this way place a block behind the repeater and then place a lever off the top of it flip down the lever so that repeater is on all the time and that is it guys you are completely done so if we click this button right here as you see it lets go of the block and our lift goes up and if we click the button again it pulls up the block and our lift goes down and then for the top button all we have to do is just take out our blocks of choice once again place a block up here and then put a button up here for your top button so if i click the button up here lift goes up click the button again and the lift goes down so now all we have to do is just clean up the area and you're going to have to put in your removable objects in the respectful place so it does not get stuck on anything so right here off this front part right here we have to add in two immovable objects right here so the slime blocks don't touch them and then we're gonna have to add a movable objects around the whole entire thing right here and this side as well we're gonna have to add in some right here so we have to come up at least three blocks with a movable object so one two three and come up three around the whole entire thing you can go all the way to the top it will make it look a lot better but all you have to do is come up three so if we click the button goes all the way up click the button again 
and it comes all the way down so like i said you could put whatever blocks you want up here but i highly recommend just making the entire thing the same color just so it looks nice so i'm going to come up three more blocks off this top row so one two three come all the way to the top and we're going to come up on this side as well all the way to the top and then we're going to take out our blocks of choice and just place it around the whole entire border of our top side as well so make sure it comes up three blocks like that and then place it in like this and there you guys have it so click the button lift goes up to the top floor and then click the button again and the lift goes down and if you would like to you could take out some redstone lamps and place four redstone lamps like this with a lever on the top of it flip it down and then place a piece of redstone like this just so it looks nice but you don't have to add in those redstone lamps it's just nice because it lights up the area so come in here click the button and we'll get lifted up to our second floor and then once we're on our second floor we can go ahead and leave our lift and then have whatever we want up here but then when we're ready to leave come over here click the button again and it will retract back down and there you guys have it that is how you build a simple piston lift or tiny elevator if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys peace